So I'm turning 19 this year. Yes, 19. One nine. That is crazy. Ten years ago, I was nine years old. What? Feels like yesterday. Like four years ago, I was fifteen. That is crazy. Like I'm actually turning nineteen this year, guys. And next year I'll be twenty. I my mind is blown. <laughs> so in this video, this is just something that came to me. This is like my third video for the night. Wow. I was, I said I was gonna sleep early, but that ain't happening now. Cause it's like eleven. I don't even know what time is it. I've just been filming like non-stop. This is like my third video. I'm gonna stop after this. But I really wanted to film this video. Like, I got this idea. Like, this is my last year of being a teenager. I just wanna talk about it. Like, things that I've learned so far that have just like impacted me and made me realize things. Like, I can't believe I'm growing up this fast. I'm really like 19. Okay, let's just start. I guess one of the things that has changed for me, like from a kid, small kid, I still consider myself a kid. I'm just a bigger kid. Okay, from like a small kid to like 19, almost 19 years old now. I guess the thing that has changed, I mean many things have changed, but one of them is that I realize that there's certain, like not everything is possible. Like there are certain things that are harder to do. There are certain things that are like, like hard, yeah, yeah, might not happen, you know. Because it, when you are a kid, you imagine that everything is possible. Everyone tells you to dream big. Everyone tells you anything is possible. You can do anything. But then like when you grow up, tell me, is it just me or is it you guys also? Like when you grow up, you realize that there are certain things that you can't do. And suddenly like you as a kid, you thought that all the doors were open for you. And suddenly now I'm like, wait, what? You know, like for example, as a kid, I wanted to study overseas. I've always wanted to study overseas. When I was like 8 years old, I wanted to study in Hawaii. I'm not sure why, but okay. And then later on, that changed to Australia. I really wanted to study in Australia. But then like now I realize, like as I grew up, I realized that that requires money. <laughs> Which for some reason, as a small kid, I never realized that studying overseas requires a lot of money. And that is the money that my family does not have. <laughs> okay. So like growing up, I realized that, wow, there's, there's things that I can't do. There are things that my family can't do for me. Like, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. Like, as a kid, you think you can do anything. I can be anything, you know? And then when you grow up, then you see, like, the practicality of things. And this is the reality of things. Like, some things require a lot of money. And you don't have that money right now. You know, and you just realize things like that. Like, you can't really do every single thing you want to do in life. <laughs> Another thing is that I would tell my, like, 14 or 12 or, like, 15-year-old self that trying to... Well, 12 itself, right? <laughs> trying to fit in with something that you're not. It's not worth it. Like, I remember being 14 years old. At that time, I didn't know anything, right? I don't know anything at that time. It's so weird. I was a baby when I was 14. I was so naive and I remember like trying to get more likes uh, on Instagram and trying to get more comments and things like that. Do you guys do you guys ever do this thing? It was the Kylie Jenner thing. I don't know if it still works, but basically my friend got me into this, like she got me into this. You go to Kylie Jenner's profile and like you comment on like her latest picture or something like that, you comment L B L B L B which means like like back I think. And then you comment C B which means comment back. And you just keep on commenting that and, and you will get a lot of likes on your posts and I used to do that and I used to rely on the followers and the likes and the comments because that's what everyone was doing and I, I wasn't being my true genuine self you know I thought I was but I, 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 I wasn't you know I was trying to fit in with something that I wasn't when I was in school I was never good at sports and yet I always tried to fit in I always tried to be good at sports but it never worked and it's because I was I always tried to fit in so much with something that I wasn't. That's what made me lose sight of what I was. Like for so many years, I didn't realize that I like to write songs. I like to make music. I like to make videos. And instead, I was chasing something that was someone else's strength. And it wasn't mine. Like sports. I was trying so hard. Like I wish for the day that I could be good at sports. Just so that I could be like everyone else. And yet, I didn't realize that I'm, I like to write songs. I'm good at music. And I'm... And I like to take videos, you know. So I feel like now that I'm like grown, grown up, <laughs> more grown up than last time, I feel like I've noticed that, I've realized that like, if you're trying so hard to be something that you're not, you become a very not genuine version of yourself. You're being another version of yourself and that's not worth it. It's exhausting. 
it is so exhausting to try and get likes on Instagram. I don't know how. Probably, I still probably have friends who still do it. I mean, I don't know how. You know, and I always try to, like, take OOTDs and take pictures and post regularly on IG because that's what everyone is doing. But now I don't do that. Like, I literally, like, I haven't posted on IG for so long. And I love my life without IG. Like, IG, I might make a different video about this, about why I quit social media, but, <laughs> except YouTube. But, you know, one of the reasons was because IG was, it wasn't something that I like, took over my life necessarily. But IG was something that I would get worried if I haven't posted for a while, you know. And I always feel like I always had to take a picture somewhere just to make sure I was posting on Instagram. That's not healthy. I wasn't being, I wasn't being the real version of myself. I was being very fake. You know, I didn't even like taking OOTDs that much. But I would do it just because all my friends were doing it. Probably they did it because they loved it, you know? Some of them still do it to this day, you know? That's just what they like to do, but I just didn't. But I did it just to, like, because I was their friend. And, and I thought that was the thing that you had to do. And, like, ever since quitting, I mean, I still have my Twitter account and my Instagram account. But ever since, like, not using it so much anymore, I don't even have the app anymore. If I want to go on it, I go on Google. Like, I Google Instagram. And I just go on there just to see cat pictures. I follow so many cat accounts. I'm a cat lover. Hence the name of my channel. <laughs> Did I need to explain that to you? I don't think so. Ever since I am not that active on social media anymore, I feel like the most general, general, <laughs> genuine version of myself. Wow, I really need to stop filming tonight, eh? And I feel like this is the most real I've ever been in my life. And also, like, another thing is that I have stopped hanging out with my friends and I I mean part of it is because of COVID but I mean sometimes my friends do go out and I just haven't I haven't hung out with them in a, a long time in like months actually uh, because I don't really feel I feel like a fake version of myself when I'm being with them I'm not saying they are fake I'm just saying that I feel like I always have to try so hard to meet their interests like they like to do TikToks they like to do they like to take pictures and I don't really like to do that so I would usually just sit at the side so I don't really see the point in going with them and I just prefer being at home anyway and you know I just feel like right now it's just the most genuine version of myself that I've ever been just making videos on YouTube and things like that like I, I feel like we have this idea that to live your best life is to always hang out with friends is to always travel and go to the beach with your friends but i feel like i'm living my best life right now i mean i could be wrong maybe i could be living a better life obviously things can always get better right but right now i like my life i just like being at home just being with my online classes and university and making videos i love making videos guys i love making videos for this channel don't get me wrong i love i love this channel okay and i just feel like when i go out with my friends I just don't really feel like I'm living, you know, I'm just sitting at the side while they do TikTok, while they take pictures, because like that's not what I want to do, and I'm just sitting at the side, like, I don't think I'm living if I do that, so I feel like we all have our different ways of living, and mine is just making music and being alone, I guess. I just checked the time and it's like 11.46pm. <laughs> I said I was gonna sleep early tonight, but whatever. <laughs> I guess another thing that I've learned that has changed, you know, that I've learned and has changed since I was a small kid until now is that I've learned that it's okay if people don't like you and I've actually addressed this a bit in my previous video go watch it I used to worry if my friends were talking bad about me behind my back like what if my friends don't like me what if they're saying things behind my back, you know, and things like that what if my family is saying things about my back because like my, my family is like a very typical like Asian or Malaysian family I guess always membawang, you know, always talk bad about you behind your back and I used to get worried about that and then now it's like I care less, I care so much less now about what people think of me like, I used to care so much, I used to care so much about keeping my friends, about keeping people, having people like me, to the point where I always used to keep things inside, and I never used to express the way I felt. Also, I addressed that in that video, please go watch that video, it's the previous one, right before this video. And you know, now I just care less, like, if someone talks bad about me, and I wasn't in the wrong, my family talks bad about me, and you know, whatever lah, like, really care less now especially like if someone talks bad about you 
behind your back i feel like that says a lot more about that person than it does about you it's like if someone calls you ugly to your face it says a lot more about that person than it does about you it's it says more about how ugly that person is on the inside it says more about them than it does about how ugly about you you know so if you get what I mean, I don't know why I just said, but you know, like people talk bad about you behind your back, if people gossip about you behind your back, that just says a lot more about them because it just shows how scared they are, that it just shows what cowards they are, they can't even say it to your face, they can't even say it to your face, okay, that says a lot more about them than it is about you, and if it's, they're talking bad about you, and they don't want you to find out, like they just talk about among themselves, then that's probably not even something wrong with you, you know, because they're, they're so scared to tell you. So it's like not even a point. There's no point in trying to repair that. There's no point in trying to better that. You know, it's not. there's no point in trying to better yourself just to make them stop talking about you because the fact is that they will always find something bad to talk about you. And the thing is like, most people, just they just talk bad because they're judging, right? They just talk bad about you because they don't like something you did or something like that. And it's not really something wrong that you did. It's just something that they didn't like, you know? So, nothing to be worried about, to be honest. And even if it was something that, it was actually something wrong that you did, like, I acknowledge that I do, I have done wrong things, right? And I've probably hurt people. But don't say it behind my back. Like, I feel like, if you do something wrong, and there are people who talk bad about it behind your back, that is really petty of them. Because, first of all, them saying it behind your back, means that you will never get to hear it and therefore you will never get to better yourself okay let's say you didn't sweep the floor today let's say you somehow forgot to sweep the floor today and your family is really mad about it and they talk behind their back about you not sweeping the floor today and they're talking like why did she sweep the floor today she's so lazy today and things like that so that is a valid thing to be mad about right <laughs> because you didn't sweep the floor but the thing is like that is so petty i'm sorry but that is so petty because if they just talk about it behind your back, then you will never hear about it. And therefore, you will never sweep the floor and they will just keep on getting mad and just keep talking bad about themselves. Like, it is so much simpler just to say to your face, like, why didn't you sweep the floor today? I told you to sweep the floor today. Why haven't you swept the floor today? Done. You will know the issue and you can solve the issue and you will remember to sweep the floor every single day after that. Instead of talking, you know, I don't get this whole, like, talking behind your back thing. Like, seriously, I just don't. Like, I see it so much. Back in my family, I don't know, is it like an Asian thing or what? I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to accept it. Maybe it's just part of our culture to do things like that. But I just don't get it. Even if it's over like the simplest things, you can just say it to someone's face. You know, you can just say it to their face. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just need to open your mouth and say, Hey, I didn't like what you did. Simple. <laughs> so much simpler than talking, talking behind your back. Because you will never find out and you will never do what they want you to do. <sighs> My back is so stiff. I guess another thing that I've that has changed since I was a kid is that now I dream even bigger than I have before. Like I've always been a big dreamer. Like ever since I was a kid, I was very ambitious, right? I've never been that kid who said that I don't have an ambition. When the teacher asked like, "Apa cita cita?" You know, I always had an ambition. I always had my cita cita. I never answered with "I don't know." You know, because I always knew my ambition, even though it changed all the time. But I was always a kid who had an ambition, and I guess had a view into the future. I was always like a very futuristic kid. Like I always wonder like, what will I look like at nineteen? This is crazy because I'm nineteen now. What would life look like as an adult, you know? And I always imagine, like, I always thought, like, what is life as a teenager, you know? And I, I was always so futuristic about, like, my future life and, like, university and things like that. Like, growing up, like, now I, I realize that I'm at an age where I can do most of the things, maybe all the things, that I always dreamed of as a kid, you know? As, as a kid, everything was, like, so far away. University is next time, you know? Next time I work, next time I go to university, next time I do this, next time I do that. And then now it's, like, I'm 19 now, and it's crazy because literally I'm, I can do all these things, you know? I can get a job, I can study. Like, I don't have to wait anymore, and I'm already, like, almost grown, grown up, you know? And I realize that there's no point to wait anymore. Like, I want to release my album, and I can do that. I just need to get some equipment 
and I'm good to go which I actually wrote down to regret that I want to release an album hopefully I guess now at this age I realize that you can only dream for so long you can only dream for so long like you as a kid you could dream right you can dream all the dreams you wanted but when you grow up like you realize that it is in your hands to take your dream to reality like I can sit here dreaming all I want about being a filmmaker but if I didn't go and apply to the university that I'm studying right now, if I didn't go apply to that, to take the filmmaking course, the cinematic arts course, it would just remain a dream, you know? And yes, dreams take time. Like, obviously, I need to go through, like, four years of education, and after that, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know the process of being a filmmaker. I don't even know if I can make films right after I graduate. So it's going to be a long process, but it's worth it, you know? Like, instead of just sitting there and just dreaming forever, like, I can sit here dreaming about releasing an album but if I don't save up the money to buy recording equipment it will just <laughs> it will just always be a dream you know I can never release my album if I don't take the steps so yeah I'm planning to save money right now just to get a mic I already have like I can record my keyboard into my laptop I just need a mic so that's what I'm saving up for hopefully there will be like a side project this year and yeah hopefully I can take this channel to the next level improve editing maybe I don't know we'll see about that and just like things like that now like I'm 19 now I should take the steps to do what I want to do I shouldn't let them just be dreams anymore there's no more next time anymore you know like literally there's no more next time things I want to do I can do it now you know if you want to start a business start it now you know if you want to pick up a new skill do it now like I'm picking up charcoal art because I really want to, because I'm really interested in that, I really love chocolate art, so I want to turn it into like a side job, hopefully next time. So I'm taking those steps now. And yeah, you can only dream for so long, which is something that I've realized going up. Like, you can only dream for so long. Yes, dreams are good. Dream all you want, but you can only dream for so long. And if you never do anything with your dream, then it'll just stay a dream. So, do something with your dream. Alright, I'm just gonna end that video here because my voice is actually quite tired now. Oh, and I wanna watch YouTube and then go to sleep and then tomorrow I wake up and finish off all my assignments. Alright, so that's it for this video. I really hope that, I don't know, I just, it's just a great thing to talk about growing up. It feels nostalgic and it's also like amazing how much you learn growing up. Like I'm such a different person right now than I was like 10 years ago. 10 years ago I was so scared about what people think of me and things like that. And I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm literally putting myself on the internet, on the YouTube channel, right? So yeah, that is it for this video. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm a cat called Meow. This channel is called The Christian Cat. And yes, it is a Christian cat. I mean, no, it is a Christ What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. This is a Christian channel and I make a lot of Christian themed videos. But sometimes I will make just videos about life and just things like this. And especially like right now because we're in like January, it's the new year. So I guess I've made some like New Year's videos like this. I upload every Saturday, but sometimes if I film more, I'll upload more during that week. So there might be some extra videos during that week. So yeah, I'll see you next time in the next video. And comment down below your thoughts. What are your thoughts on growing up? What have you learned growing up? What are, What's the difference between you now and you 10 years ago? Maybe even 5 years ago. Because there's a lot that can change in 10 years, 5 years. I might make a different video about that. About how many, about how many things can change in such a short period of time. So yeah, that is it for this video. God bless your day, your week, your month, your year, your life. God bless you and your families. And don't forget, Jesus loves you so much. One last thing.